Let's begin at the front edge of our mat. Hi guys. Let's begin at the front edge of our mat. Then the feet. Keep the knees together. Close your eyes for a moment. Take a deep inhale and deep exhale. Bring your palms together in front of your chest. Open your eyes. Sink your hips down. Coming into chair pose. Inhale, and as you exhale, extend your legs. Inhale, sink in deeper. Exhale, straight legs. Inhale, bend your knees, you can sink your hips down. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more deep inhale, in your hips. Let's hold the chair pose. Let's work on the alignment. Plant your feet, push your kneecaps back, sink your hips down. Take your tailbone in, lifting your chest. Maybe you can move towards your fingertips, maybe looking forward or down. Roll your shoulders back and down. Maybe keep your arms in front of you, maybe up. Maybe clasp them together, maybe we'll be apart. Whatever works for you, is try to go a little bit deeper and feel the warmth from your quads. Inhale and exhale, holding forward. Inhale, Ardha Tanasana. Lift your head up. Keep your legs straight if you can. If you cannot reach the ground with straight legs, you can keep your palms on your shin. Exhale, fold it down. Inhale, halfway up. Maybe you can also keep your fingers in the air if it's too difficult to reach the ground. Exhale, hold it forward. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, hold it forward. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, hold it forward. One more time, inhale, Ardha Tanasana. Exhale, Tanasana. Last time, inhale, Ardha Tanasana. Let's hold, let's work on the alignment. Today I'm not using the microphone, so I hope the audio quality will be good. Maybe you will drop me a comment if you can hear me. Keep on grounding through the feet, activating the root lock. Distributing the weight of the body between your legs, between your right foot. Lift your tailbone towards the ceiling and drop your belly down and lift your chest up. Try to push your kneecaps back. Put your hips forward, feel the stretch in your hamstrings. Just breathe in here, stretching the hamstrings, warming up the legs, inhaling, and exhale. Let's hold forward to Tanasana. Maybe you can hold your heels or your shin bone. You can go deeper in the forward fold. Maybe you can also bend your knees. If it's too much, it's straight legs. Whatever works for you, listen to your body, maybe close your eyes and just enjoy the stretch. Okay. 
Keep on rotating your table up towards the ceiling. And your belly is going down towards your thighs. Keep your legs straight if you can. Or microwave your knees if there is so much tension. Breathe in. Breathe in out. And bring your palms on the mat under your shoulders, spreading the fingers nicely, pointing the middle fingers forward. And let's step one leg in the shield and into plank. Today we have some spinal twist. We'll be focused on the spinal mobility. Let's warm up the spine. Drop your knees towards the mat, but keep them in the air. Don't allow them to touch the ground. Maybe you round the spine. Taking the tailbone in, activating the deep core. And from here, push your hips back and lift them up. Come into down facing dog. From down facing dog, we're going to lean forward at the same time rounding the spine, creating this beautiful wave. Then we're going to bend the knees, drop them towards the mat. Arch the spine. Let's begin our wave lifting the hips up and back. And the wave is going to alongside your spine. Coming into down facing dog. Rounding the spine, coming forward. Bend your knees. Lift your hips. Waving from your spine. You might need to adjust your position when you bring your palms closer to your legs all the way. And just listen to your body. For the waves, you need awareness, you need to know your body. Just listen and move with the flow of your breath. Do one more wave. Last time. Inhale, lean forward. Bending the knees. Lifting your hips. Feel the weight of your spine. Coming into the double facing dog. Right leg goes up, feel that like dog. Inhale. Exhale. Step between your palms. Bend the left arm and lean the right arm up towards the ceiling. Looking towards the right fingertips. Feel the twist from your spine. And pushing the left heel back and down, keeping the left leg straight. Keep the right knee in line with the right heel. And keep your chest close to your leg. Twisting beautiful. Inhale and exhale. And pushing with the left palm, lifting your upper body, coming into twisted high lunge. in your deep core. Keep on pushing your right arm back. Sink your hips down. And reach the right arm towards the back side of your left leg. Reach with the left arm up. Beautiful twist. Feel your spine waking up. 
Inhale and exhale. Spread your arms, bring them on the mat. Step to right leg back, coming to downward facing dog. Let's do our spinal waves one more time. Bend your knees, drop them towards the mat. Round the spine as you inhale, lift your hips. Create a beautiful way with your spine, round in the spine, leaning forward, drop the knees. Feel the energy moving along the side of your spine. One more wave. Imagine coming to the other fancy dog. Let's repeat that left side. Left leg goes up, inhale, free leg dog. Exhale. Step it forward between your palms. Plan the right palm and twist and lifting the left arm up. Activating your deep core, pushing the right heel back and down, sinking your hips deeper. Reaching with the left arm up. Keep your chest close to your left thigh. Inhale, lift your left arm, lift your right arm, coming into revolve, high lunge. Keep on swaying your hips forward, rewarding the thighs in, pushing the right heel back and down, spreading the arms, lengthening through the crown of the head. Pushing the left arm back. And reach with the left arm towards the back side of your right leg. Reaching with the right arm up. Inhale. Exhale. Spread your arms. Plant them on the mat. Step it back. Now let's go. Let's go the spine. Round the spine as you come forward, bend the knees, lift your hips. Facing dog. Let's hold it up for five deep breaths. Inhale, right leg goes up, free leg dog. Exhale, step it forward. Plant the left arm, reach with the right arm up. And leave your left arm. Sink your hips deeper. Reach with the left arm towards the ceiling, with the right arm towards the back side of your left arm. Inhaling. And as you exhale, bring the left arm on top of the right arm. And bring the right arm on top of the left arm. Twisting the high lunge. Beautiful. Let's stay here for a couple of breaths. Keep on pushing the palms together. Try to keep the shoulders away from each other, away from the ears, away from the throat. And if possible, 
perpendicular with the floor. Inhale and exhale. Look towards the right foot. Push with the right foot and step the left foot next to the right one. Coming directly into Parigri Tatkatasana. Sink your heels down. Inhale and exhale. Come into standing. Maybe close your eyes for a moment. Observe the difference in your body. Observe the difference between the left and the right side of your body. We did some more postures for the right side, which we want to repeat on the left one as well. Inhale, bend your knees and your hips down. Exhale, fold and fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, step it back into plank. Bend your knees, drop it towards the mat without touching the mat, and then lift your hips five ways. Rounding the spine, coming forward. Bend your knees, extend the our facing dog. Inhale, lean forward, and exhale, coming back. Three, inhale, lean forward, four, exhale, coming back. Last then inhale, lean forward, exhale, coming back. Coming to the facing dog, left leg goes up. Three, leg up, inhale. Exhale, step it forward between the palms, plant the right palm, reach with the left arm towards the ceiling. Inhale, exhale, with your next inhalation, lifting your upper body, coming to revolve, high lunge. Inhale and exhale, reach with the left arm towards the right thigh. You reach with the right arm towards the ceiling. Inhale. As you exhale, bring the right elbow on top of the left thigh and keep the left arm on top of the right arm. Twist the spine. You're going to hold your fire in your breath. Try to push the right heel back and down. Keeping the right leg straight, rolling the thighs in. Inhale and exhale. Look towards the left foot. Push the left foot and step the right foot next to the left one. When you lift up to the sun, sink your hips down. We're going to hold you for a couple of deep breaths. Inhale, exhale, your next inhalation, coming to standing, exhale, hold here for a few breaths, observe your body, is there any difference in your body now and 15 minutes ago when we started? Is there any difference in your spine? It's been twisting a little bit. Releasing some tensions from the spine, stretching the muscles. Improve the spinal mobility. And also, massaging the internal organs. Take a deep inhale, sink your hips down. Exhale, holding forward. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, plant the palms, step the back, and shrug. We haven't been doing chitranga today yet. 
Inhale, lean forward. Exhale, Sutaranga. Upward facing dog, inhale. And downward facing dog, exhale. Inhale, rise and goes up. Exhale, step it forward. Slam the left palm, reach with the right arm. Twist in the spine. Inhale, lift your upper body, revolve high lunge. Raise the left arm towards the ceiling, reach with the right arm towards the back side of your left arm. Inhale, as you exhale, bring the left leg on top of the right thigh. Keep the palms together. Beautiful. Inhale, and exhale, step the left foot next to the right one, that's it. Very good. Inhale, and exhale, your next inhalation. Come to the standing. Chair pose, inhale. Exhale, and fold it forward and down. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, plant the palms to length. Our second to the under today. Inhale, leaning forward, shifting your chest. Forward, extend to the ground. Upper facing dog, inhale. And down, facing dog, exhale. Raise your left leg up as you inhale. And as you exhale, step it forward. Reach your left arm towards the ceiling. Inhale and exhale with a nice inhalation. Lift your upper body, spread it down the way, sinking your hips down. And exhale, going deeper. Rolling your thighs in. Feel that movement, your hips are squared, facing forward. With your next inhalation, raise your right arm towards the ceiling. Left towards the back side of your right eye. And exhale all the air. Bring the right elbow on the outer side of your left thigh. Beautiful. Left arm on top of the right arm. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And step your right foot forward, left, left arm. By the way, don't cut the sun. Inhale, exhale, with your next inhalation, come into standing. Exhale, very good. Inhale, come into chair pose. And lift your hips, come to your toes. Turn before our feet. Let's go slowly all the way down. How slow you can. Eventually, you will sit on your heels and come in with your sitting bones on the mat. Come into the center of your mat. Keep the left leg straight, bend the right knee, bring the right foot on the mat. There is a round one long distance between the left knee and the right foot. Inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, folding forward, internally rotating the right shoulder and wrapping it around your right hand. Inhale, lift your head up. Exhale, folding forward. Mani Chasana A. Keep your left leg active, toes are pointing up. Rolling the left thigh in. Very good. Activating your Mula Bandha. Feel the internal rotation of the right shoulder. Inhale and extend. With your next inhalation, lifting your head up, releasing your palms. Inhale, raise the arms above the head, 
exhaling, twisting to the right, bring the right arm behind your back, and bring your left elbow on the outer side of the right thigh. Mary Jazz on the scene. Lengthening through the crown of the head. Imagine somebody is pulling an invisible string through the crown of your head. Keep your left foot active. Toes are pointing up. That's it. And rolling the left leg in. Right foot is on the mat. The right knee is keeping the resistance. Pushing the left elbow. And the left elbow is pushing the right elbow, twisting more and more. With each exhalation, we can go deeper into the posture. Inhale, lifting your chest. Exhale, going a little bit deeper into the posture. Keep your shoulders down. Looking back. With each inhalation, your chest is lifting. With each exhalation, it's even more. You can stay here, or you can internally rotate in the left shoulder and keep in the arm it as close as you can with the right knee, and maybe reach with the right arm and grabbing your left arm. Let's stay here for five more deep breaths. Equalizing your breath. Keep your spine straight. The lungs are compressed when we are twisting. So focus on the breath, even though breathing is possible and it's very beneficial for your spine. You will feel it super flexy after this. Inhale. And exhaling, gently raising your arms. Inhaling, raising your arms above the head. Exhaling, releasing your palms, switch the legs. Mari Jasana A. Left foot is on the mat, one palm distance between the left foot and the right knee. Right foot is active, point the ankle, toes are point to the ceiling, rolling the right leg in. The right leg is always active, pushing the mat. And the left foot is close to your hip, but not as much as you can because then the left sitting bone is in the air, which we don't want to. So we want to, to be grounded through the sitting bones. In that posture, what happens naturally is that the left sitting bone will be up, which is not bad, just we want to find this position that we allow us to be grounded according to the proportions of the body. You know, everyone has different limbs and trunk. Inhale, raise your arms above the head, extend moving forward so that the left arm is on the inner side of your left thigh. Internally rotating the left shoulder, interlocking your palms. Inhale, lifting your chest, lifting your head up, extend moving forward. Maybe you will notice the difference between the left and between the right side of your body, which is normal. Activating your root lobe. Going deeper into the posture. With strength in your pelvic lobe. Just breathing here. Inhale and exhale, falling forward. Almost there, inhale and exhale. Your next inhalation, lift your head up, lift your chest. Exhale, releasing your palms. Inhale, raise your arms above the head. Exhale, twist to the left. Reach with the left fingertips behind your back. And tap your right elbow on the outer side of your left thigh. Pushing with your right elbow, pushing the left thigh, and the left thigh is pushing the right elbow, twisting forward into the posture. Keep that right foot active. And looking back. 
Maybe you will keep your left fingertips on the mat over the whole palm. Just try to not rest on it. It's only there for support. Make sure your spine is straight, lengthen it through the crown of the head, some grease. Pull in the strength so we're just rotating around. The spine is simply rotating around its axis. And breathing. Keep your shoulders down with each inhalation. Lift your chest up with each exhalation. Twist it more. That's it. Beautiful. You will feel the twist, especially from the middle section of your spine. We are almost not twisting from the lumbar spine, so our lower back can almost not twist at all. The rotation of the spine is happening in the upper back and especially in the last thoracic vertebrae 11 and 12 where the floating ribs are connected. Then we have the most flexibility concerning twists. But you should be also careful to not push yourself too much as this area is also easy to be injured. With each inhalation, lifting your chest up, feeling the lungs with the air, and exhaling, going deeper and deeper. Maybe you will stay here, or maybe you will internally rotate the right shoulder, keep the right arm fit as close as you can with the left knee, and reaching behind with your both arms. Or grab him around your left thigh. But try to not lean to the side or back. Keep your spine as straight as possible. Do not strain the neck. Looking gently back. Keep the head extension of your spine. And keep the right foot active. Beautiful. Inhaling and exhaling. On the five breaths here. Inhale and exhale four five inhale exhale release your palms inhale raise and both head exhale both legs are stretched it out and we have now Shimotanasana sitting forward for make sure your sitting bones are on the ground. Keep the legs together, rolling the thighs in, pushing your inner feet forward. Keep your spine straight, lift your chest, lift your heart center, activating your Diana Banda. Very good. Rolling the shoulders back down and up. Keep the head extension of the spine and keep on pushing your inner feet forward. Inhale and raise your arms above the head. Lifting your chest as you exhale, you're gonna empty all the air from your lungs, drawing the belly in, and you're gonna fold forward. You can hold your outer feet or your big toes anywhere you reach. Maybe you will widen bend the knees, maybe you will keep them straight. Let's try to keep our spine as straight as possible at the beginning. So make sure you're not rushing to touch your knees with your head. Try to lift your chest as much as you can and to push your belly down. That's it. You're lifting your chest and pushing your belly down. And whenever you feel ready, you can go all the way down as much as you can. You can allow to gently round the spine. We try to keep it as straight as possible in forward folds, but there will be a little bit of rounding that's it, that's the human body. Rounding the spine is not bad itself. We need both, we need forward folds and back bends, round spine and arching spine. It is we spend so much time with round spine during the day that we want to do counter pose because if we stay with round spine all the time, then it's not so healthy. Just breathing deeply and folding forward. 
Feel the stretch in the back side of your body. Breathing in, out, with a nice inhalation, lift your head up, releasing your feet. Whatever life, whatever voice, back, legs, spine of your mind. Spread your knees, keep your feet together. Coming into Sukta Bhagavad Gumasana, recline, bound angle. Be proud of yourself and the practice that you have done for your body and for your mind. And this was a short flow with focus on twisting the spine. Very beneficial for the spinal mobility to prevent any spinal injuries to keep the spine flexing. But it's also a healthy massage in the internal organs. Especially improving the digestion. And the twists have a neutral effect on your body, so they are not activating the nervous system as the back bends, but they are also not coiling it as a form of thought. So that is neutral, and you can do that anytime you want in the morning or in the evening. Observe your body. Is there any difference in your body? Is there any difference in your spine? Do you feel your core warm? Strengthening the back muscles and the core muscles. To have a correct posture in our daily life. Observe is there any difference in your breath? Maybe you will feel this in your chest. Maybe you will feel it the twist in your upper back. Improving the mobility of our upper spine, the thoracic part of the spine will also improve the ability of breathing in. Maybe a little to the bodies, but when the spine is stiff, especially the upper spine, this is resulting in a lower capacity of our lungs because the chest cannot really expand. So it's full range of motion. So if you never thought about it, now is the moment to focus on your upper spine, where the ribs are connecting with the vertebras. Maybe you feel the spine joints more flexible. Focus on expanding the chest. Yes, feel that big lungs and big chest expanding, allowing the lungs to intake a lot of fresh air, a lot of prana. Exhaling, letting everything go. 
And extending your arms over the head, waking up the body, closing the knees. Keep your eyes closed, roll into your right side, keep the right arm under the head as a pillow. Push through the left palm, right palm coming into any comfortable for your sitting position on the straight side. We will finish with three rounds of one. Take a deep inhale. Deep in hand. practice and you're just scrolling for the video it's also good maybe you will come back to that video later on and you will practice if this is what your spine needs or maybe you will check some of my other videos i have a lot of tutorials with the explanations that how to do some basic but very important postures in yoga and maybe you will go to the playlist easy yoga Yoga beginning and the basics where you can also find some videos for beginners. And um, in this playlist of flow for you, you'll find some basic flows, 34 knees with accent on different parts of the body, different asana groups. So check it out, maybe you'll find something for you. See you on the mat next time. Mm-hmm. <laughs>